Fans want to get it back out to San Diego right now. Jack and Meredith standing by with Brian Cashman. Meredith, take it away. Thanks, Bob. Brian, obviously, congratulations are in order to you. Four-year contract announced it was signed today. We will get to that in just a minute, but every Yankees fan wants to know about Aaron Judge right now. So can you shed any light on what the conversations have been like and whether or not you believe he's going to be in pinstripes next season? I mean, we're, we're certainly hopeful, uh, but we're not driving this bus, obviously. Mr. Judge is, and um, you know he put himself in a great position clearly with a historic season, and he's had an amazing career thus far, and you know one that if he continues, is take him all the way to Cooperstown. But we want every stop along the way between now and and hopefully that final destination to be here in the Bronx for us. So, uh, so you know, balls in his court still. You know, he's you know assessing market value, marketplace, life decisions. You know. And yes, we are certainly in active negotiations, uh, you know, with him. Ryan, you mentioned that Aaron is driving the bus, but what can the Yankees do to try and push that bus across the finish line, so to speak, and to help consummate a deal? Load it up with a lot of, a lot of coin, <laughs> right? You know, slow that bus down a little bit, I guess, by, by putting some heavy uh, dollars on board. So he's going to make a lot of money either way, because again, he's a great player and one of the game's best, and so. Um, again, we just hope, you know, in the end that, uh, you know, he recognizes obviously the, the, you know, the financial offer that Hal Steimer is going to put forth and has put forth is, is obviously big time. You know, uh, you know, Hal's, you know, has already said publicly, you know, he's, he's walking the walk by, uh, you know, you know, he's already talked the talk. He's walking the walk. I promise you that, you know, it's a, you know, the efforts are there from the financial standpoint. And, you know, I think, uh. You know, we're really proud of the organization that we have and how we support our players and the and you know the competitive teams that are on the field and and I know Aaron Judge you know loved being a part of that but he's got to evaluate all opportunities before him so we'll see you know I know you're probably not going to say this publicly but there have been reports of an eight-year deal 300 million dollar range how close are those reports to being accurate and how how far will the Yankees go to keep Judge Fair question. Um, can't really answer because we're in these active negotiations and certainly wouldn't want to compromise any of them. Um, but, you know, again, at the end of the day, we're doing, you know, what we think we can do to try to retain, you know, a great player that's been a great Yankee thus far and, and certainly want that relationship to continue. And, you know, time will tell. It's just, I'm going to have to be patient here and see how it plays out. Uh, you know, if we held all the cards, we don't, you know, I'd be able to answer your, your questions a lot easier. But, I, you know, uh, we're just going to make continue to make the best attempts we possibly can and, and hopefully bring him back. And then and not just him. It's about the rest of the team, too. We need to, to continue to refine it, add it, whether it's coming from below uh, or outside the organization. You know, uh, that's the job. Brian, you mentioned Hal Steinbrenner earlier. When I spoke to him this offseason, just as it was getting underway, he had said that he was active in talking to Aaron Judge. How active has he remained in the negotiations and trying to get him in pinstripes for the duration? Well, I know it started right when the season ended. So, unfortunately, when our season came to an end, uh, the very next day, you know, um, you know, Hal Steinbrenner and, and myself got on the phone with Aaron Judge directly, uh, where Hal was able to communicate, you know, uh, his thoughts right to the player. And then clearly, you know, the negotiations have been handling, I've been handling them on behalf of Hal, uh, but Hal's been dictating the negotiations too, you know. Um, so uh, on our end, and I've been dealing with the agents, and, you know, they have a good relationship, a really good relationship, I think, Hal and, and Aaron Judge. And uh, there's a comfort level there, and hopefully one that'll serve us well because, you know, it, it, like anything else, it, it, it does take money, but the relationships are important too. And um, I think. We have really good relationships. That's going to play a very key factor in this with the player. Uh, but it's also a business, too. We know it on our end. Uh, they know it on their end. And, and so we're, you know, we're trying to make sure that we, uh, we make it hard for him to leave. Have you spent a significant amount of time discussing a plan B if things don't work out with Aaron Judge, or is that something you're just trying not to think about at this particular juncture? I'm certainly, you know, Every year, every winter, you know, the available free agent and trade markets are always different, you know, different strengths, different weaknesses, and, and that we don't want to look at any plan B's or C's or D's or E's, whatever you want to call it. We, you know, our hopes and goals are obviously retain our player, and, um, and hopefully we can continue to call him our player. 
But we'll see over time. It's just going to take a little, probably a little more time. The winter's not going to go forever. Sometimes players don't sign all the way till spring training. I don't see that happening in this particular case, but I'm just guessing now on that. You know, again, um, you know, Aaron Judge will make a decision for him and his family, uh, you know, with his agency at some point. Uh, and the active and the negotiations are still active. Brian, you've been the general manager for a quarter of a century, as Meredith mentioned. Sign on for four more years. You obviously don't need a Yankee history lesson. I don't think Aaron Judge does either. But how much has the legacy of the Yankees come up in your conversations, and the idea of how badly and how desperately does he want to be a Yankee and spend his entire career in pinstripes and, and be part of that legacy? I mean, I think I think he does. I mean, he's communicated that both publicly to our fan base through uh, through our media and then um, privately. You know, he, this is where he wants to play, um, but it doesn't always work out that way. So you have to kind of, you know, caution uh, caution yourself a little bit with it. But uh, you know, there's I'm sure if you're any player, there's always curiosity of elsewhere, right? Um, and the one feedback I constantly get, which, you know, I make sure I communicate to our owner is when players aren't with us anymore or they come and come back, I do know that they appreciate what the Steinmeier family uh, provides uh, for our players, you know, whether it's facilities, travel, security, you know, there's so many different amenities that the Steinbrenner family go above and beyond for to try to put the players this is a tough environment in New York right playing in New York's not easy you know our fans rightfully so are demanding and, and expecting winning on a year in and year out day in day out year in and year out basis and so you know ownership on top of that is trying to make sure that they're comfortable and happy and their families are taken care of and they and they take a lot of great pains in providing enough uh, support in that arena and so when players have played here and played elsewhere but they come here from elsewhere they're like wow they're blown away with all the extra stuff that we do to try to support them and so I think I think Aaron Judge knows that but at the same time like any free agent uh, they're curious they're going to be curious they're going to be curious about what their marketplace is value is and what other places provide but I can tell you this from what I understand most other places don't provide what our fan base provides, what our ownership provides, and hopefully that carries some weight too. Brian, you've been clear. The organization has been very clear, crystal clear. You want Aaron Judge back, but you also have to look to that 2023 season and put together a roster. So from your perspective, the waiting game, how difficult is that for you in knowing there are moves that need to be made? You know, it's difficult, uh, but but at the same time, you know, we have a really strong roster. Uh, you know, I'm certainly staying in touch with our trainers about how DJ LeMayu is coming along and, you know, because, you know, we lost some important pieces along the way in season. So so getting them back and healthy will be important. Um, you know, we got Labor Torres down playing winter ball right now. And um, so we're keeping track of our players. Uh, and we got some young guys pushing up. So, yes, without a doubt, we're trying to improve. Uh, in some cases on the fringes, on the edges, in other pace, cases, obviously, we have a vacancy in left field. We have obviously a big vacancy in right field. You always want to improve your pitching. And so we're certainly having some exploratory trade talks uh, and staying in touch with the free agent group. But the big ticket item, Aaron Judge, is obviously, uh, you know, going to take up some time. With DJ LeMahieu, there was some uncertainty exactly whether or not he would need surgery. Is there any clarity there? What is he doing right now? Well, I'd say right now in the uh, in this part of the winter, it looks optimistic that we're going to try to avoid surgery. Um, he's feeling really good. Uh, it's still premature and early, so I'm not saying he's out of the woods in any way, shape, or form, but I know he's responded really well to the rest, and uh, he's putting himself to physical activity and testing right now, and he's responding well to that, whether it's running, hitting, fielding his position. So a lot of that stuff is going on. He's down in Tampa, and, uh, and the feedback has been really positive. So, you know, fingers crossed that we can avoid a surgery. Fingers crossed that this heals on its own with time. And uh, and if that's the case, obviously we're going to get a great player back. We know what DJ LeMay means to us and what he can be. Aaron Judge is in Tampa tonight. In fact, he's at the Buccaneers game. But there is a report that he will be in San Diego tomorrow. He will be here. What should we read into that? I have no idea. I mean, it's again, I don't control... Uh, the itinerary for the player and um so there I can, are no I can plans to meet face to face with him tomorrow I've, I've got no there's nothing set up for the yankees with aaron judge uh be, we're not aware either way i've seen the reports I, I can't verify them either way so i have no hidden ball trick here uh if he is coming um you know no one's made me aware of it other than the media reports so judge aside you've talked about some other needs that this team has in your mind what is the biggest other issue that needs to be uh, addressed 
I don't, you know, Aaron Judge is the biggest, clearly. And then after that, you know, left field is, is a, an area of, of importance. You know, you know, got Ben Attendee. We'd love to bring him back if that's possible. Uh, but then there's alternatives if it's not that. We also have, you know, some young kids that, you know, stepped up and showed some interesting things for us this past year that we like and, and feel we can grow with. Um, you know, and then, you know, you always look at the starting pitching, although I think our starting pitching on paper is really good going into the season, but it doesn't mean you don't want to reinforce it and add to it. Bullpen, you know, so pitching, 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 but left field, right field are the biggest needs right now. So what's going on in that room right now when you get back up there? You know, a lot of ideas. Um, you know, I just left a meeting with, with an agent, you know, about one of their players, and, uh, you know, so I bounce out of the room, meet with somebody in a separate room, bounce back in, share like a like a bee, flying back to the hive with, uh, with the honey of information. And, and so, you know, that's what's going to be going on, you know, obviously the next few days. We're just going to stay locked in with our phones, texting, calling, clubs, agents, meetings, see where it takes us. Well, we know you have a lot of work to do and you have to get back upstairs, but thanks as always for stopping by. Thanks for having thanks, me. Cash. Thank you. Bob, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Mary